Hello, I'm Javier Hernandez reporting from Washington. Naturalization ceremonies are a common occurrence in courtrooms across the country. But for one group of immigrants, their experience was anything but typical. In fact, it was historic. Arlington National Cemetery evokes a somberness among the headstones of so many American heroes. Oye, oye, oye. But on this day, for the first time in the cemetery's 140-year history, visitors are not here to say goodbye to the fallen, but rather welcome 70 new citizens. It is a wonderful day for each of you because today you will join the land of the free and the home. The land of the free and the home of the brave. Senior Judge Tim Ellis III is also an immigrant. Born 68 years ago in Bogota, Colombia, he typically presides over naturalization ceremonies at the federal courthouse in Alexandria, Virginia. Will all the petitioners please raise your right hand? I hereby declare. Last year, more than 450,000 people became citizens in courtroom ceremonies across the country. But Ellis, who will retire soon, wanted to conduct a ceremony at a more meaningful location. It reminds all of us about those who are buried here and the sacrifices they made so that we can continue to enjoy being Americans and being free. And we need to be reminded of that. I'm very honored to be here to be naturalized in this uh, hollow ground United States. Um, just like, I, I, mean, I just expect maybe in the old, some courthouse, I never expect to be this kind of lab. Uh, ceremony. You get a hug. <laughs> and for the service members gaining citizenship, it means that much more. At this moment, it's overwhelming, and you just want to make sure that you that you do the best that you can do, and that you uphold the legacy that has been put before you. It's been nine years in the making, so it took me a while to get here. A lot of overseas deployments, filling out paper, losing it, but I'm finally here. Air Force Sergeant Brian Potvin is here to support his wife. It's awesome. It's, it's amazing to, uh, to see her fulfill this dream. She's wanted to be a citizen. She's lived here almost her whole life, and I'm very proud. I, this, is, this is one of the reasons why I serve and, and why a lot of other people serve. So I, I'm very proud, very proud to be wearing the uniform today. Congratulations. Many here today fled from dictatorships, persecution, or economic hardships. But with their documents in hand, all of that is in the past. These new Americans look forward to the freedoms and rights that many of us simply take for granted. Feels awesome. I'm able to vote and I can't wait. <laughs> I can't wait. Simply can't wait. This was not the first citizenship ceremony at Arlington Cemetery. General Robert E. Lee lost his citizenship for his role in the Civil War. His citizenship was restored posthumously at Arlington in 1975. Reporting from Washington, I'm Javier Hernandez.